They say it's a new year, it's a new me. So here's my New Year's resolutions for 2016. I'm a poet and I know it and I can't even show it. Mm -mm. Hey guys, it's Hope and today I thought it'd be fun to tell you my 2016 New Year's resolutions. I love making New Year's resolutions every year and I don't always stick to them but I just think they're really fun to write down and see if you can stick to them throughout the new year and throughout the rest of the year. Um, yeah, I have been pretty good sticking to my New Year's resolutions for this year. Um, some of my New Year's resolutions were to stick to playing guitar and growing in that aspect and becoming more advanced and I have done that and I have become very good at guitar. Um, eating healthily I put down, that didn't really happen but it's all room for improvement so I thought I'd tell you my New Year's resolutions so if you'd like to hear them carry on watching. I've written all my New Year's resolutions down on my phone so this is where I'll be reading them from. So my first New Year's resolution is to become healthier and I know everyone says this every single year to eat healthier, to exercise and just to become skinny and I used to have that goal every year and I never stuck to it because I think it was kind of an unrealistic goal to just say that I want to be skinny. Um, this year I'm telling myself to become healthier and to feed my body more nutrients and to treat my body with more kindness and love and respect and just to exercise even if it's just going for a walk um, and not to just look at the aspect of being skinny or like a Victoria's Secret model because I think in a way that's an unrealistic goal because you're not really thinking of what you're doing to your body to become healthier you're just looking at the overall outcome that you want so yeah that's my first new year's resolution is just to become healthier to eat more healthy foods and just to have treat days and to have more fun with food and just exercise and just love myself for who i am and just become healthier in the long run instead of just wanting that unrealistic goal of looking model-like um, and I'm not saying that models have unrealistic goals of like how they eat because for example the Victoria's Secret models they train like athletes but I think young girls and me in particular in the past have looked at celebrities and have just thought I want to be like them I want to be skinny so I'm going to do anything to be skinny my second New Year's resolution is to stretch more and to learn how to do the splits so if you know me, I cannot touch my toes and I think as a 17 year old going on 18, I actually think that's really bad. <laughs> I cannot touch my toes. I can get down to about my shins and then I'm like, it hurts so much. <laughs> and I think for my age, I should be more flexible than I am. So I am striving to become more flexible. I want to be able to touch my toes and I think it would be really fun to do the splits because I used to be able to do the splits. Hello? I just think it would be really really fun to do the splits because I used to be able to do the splits and now I can't even touch my toes so yeah and stretching is actually really important and I don't think many people know that I never knew because if we're not flexible then there's literally like no hope. <laughs> Resolution number three is to read more books. Now I used to be such a book lover and a book nerd when I was younger but I think as I've grown older I haven't really been reading as much as I should and I have a bookcase full of books that I've read and some that I haven't read and I don't know I just find that sometimes now that it just takes me too long to read a book so I really need to get back into the book reading I've been in a book slump because I absolutely love diving into new books and diving into a whole nother world my fourth New Year's resolution is to take part in more service um, I am someone who really likes partaking in service. I do it a lot in my church to help charities um, and I just love partaking in service and I would like to do more of that throughout the new year. Resolution number five is to read my scriptures more. Um, this is something that I definitely need to do because I love sitting down and spending time with God and just speaking to him and reading the scriptures and yeah that's something I definitely need to do more because I don't do it enough and I know it's sometimes hard to like sit down and read your scriptures but once I get into that and just um, sit down and read them then I can't stop so I really need to start doing that again. Resolution number six is to follow my passions and my dreams. Now I think this is something that has really held me back in the past. Um, I am not the most confident person and I think if you know me you know that 
Um, I used to be such a people person when I was younger. Um, I actually made like best friends with the optician in the Asda's opticians. I used to go and speak to her every single time my parents were packing away shopping at the till. And I, I know, I was a weird kid, okay? But um, I just want to grow in confidence more and follow my passions and dreams and these include acting. I used to absolutely love musical theatre, I did it for so long but when I had to come around choosing my GCSE options um, I stopped musical theatre and drama in school and it's something that I regret and I miss so I want to get back into that definitely and I want to continue with my singing and my playing guitar and writing songs and just improving and learning new skills. Um, I'm actually hopefully going to be joining an agency to become an extra in films and TV shows um, next year in March I think. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go but I think that will be something really fun to do because as a media student I can see both sides. I can see the filming side and the acting side and they're both areas of work that I love and would love to professionally work in. My seventh New Year's resolution is to continue playing my guitar and growing more advanced. Um, this year for 2015 my top resolution was to learn guitar and just progress in that because I've had a guitar for many years but I've always given up on playing because it always hurts so much but this year I got a new guitar my little Fender baby I absolutely love her she's gorgeous and um, this year I just sat down and I learnt and I've progressed so much um, I would just love to progress even more throughout the new year something that I really love to do in my spare time because it's just it's freeing for me I find music really freeing and something that I can really just take away my stress to and yeah resolution 8 is to write more songs as you know I play guitar I like to sing and I like musical theatre and I have started writing songs this year but I've kind of let that go over the past couple of months I haven't been doing it as much as I should so I would really like to just continue writing more songs and improve my songwriting skills because it is a talent um, that you need and it's something really hard to strive upon because some of the songs I've written are really bad in my eyes anyway but um, it's something that you really need to work on so I'm going to try and improve to the best of my ability. You can get books and things like that so that might have to be something I pick up and purchase. Resolution 9 is to adventure more places and this just can be around my hometown. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to mean in different countries even though that would be amazing but just places around my hometown that I haven't been to or want to see. Um, I don't leave my house that much because I'm always tied up with schoolwork and I make these YouTube videos at home so I do require a lot of my time spending at home so I don't go out as much as I should or get as much fresh air as I should so I would really love just to adventure more even if it's just going for a walk to somewhere new and then coming back home it's just something to see. Resolution number 10 is to take more photographs. I love photography and I love taking photographs whether it be on my phone or my camera and photographs just capture moments that you can never forget and I especially love Polaroid pictures because they are instant and you just get a full on photo right there and I just love that I have a wall of Polaroid pictures from my vintage Polaroid camera and my mini in Stax 8 and yeah I just love photo taking and I just want to take more photos. Capture more memories kids! So these are all my 2016 New Year's resolutions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me what your New Year's resolutions are. I'm really curious to know if you are making any. Please tell me. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed please do. It's free to do and what it does is tell you every time I post a new video please become a member of this lovely lovely family that we have here on the Spoonful of Hope. Um, so yeah I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!